Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Hogwarts Legacy. Where last time we spent some time exploring the castle, doing some side quests, getting some exploration stuff done. And um, I think we're going to try and do this Thunderbrew potion thing, which means we need to go to uh, Hogsmeade and get some living dead, I think. And do we want to just fast travel there? If it were true that you were almost flattened by a streeler, that could be construed as brave. I mean, that's probably... Oops, sorry, guys. <laughs> Didn't mean to shoot at you. Uh, it's probably the smart thing to do is just go to just fast travel. I do like the idea of just walking around, but I don't want to waste your guys' time, really. I mean, just for my own immersion. Because um, we'd be... I guess I like the idea that we have a shortcut to it. I think that's really fun, nice but at the guy. same time, we're not going to see anything new there. Whereas if we travel, still five minutes on the way. If we travel uh, by land, we might see something new out there. But I think we're we're just going to fast travel there. And one of you brought up a, a good point that uh, what's this? Oh, secret rooms. Room of requirements. Or just requirement. Uh, brought up a good point that you might be able to identify in Hogsmeade. Um, it's possible, right? I don't think we saw anywhere like that, but it would make sense. But um, let's just look at these real quick. Zonko's Joke Shop. Hogsmeade Square. Steeply and Sons. Honey Dukes. Tea Shop. Okay. Beast supplies. Uh, I can get a haircut. Mm. Sporting needs. I don't see anything that says we can do that. But we do need to go over to um, the Magic Neep and get some supplies. Let's go over there. And if we don't see any new uh, side quests, maybe we'll walk back just to see if there's potentially any side quests on the road that we can't see. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Sometimes it do, don't it? What's this one up here? The old fool, an abandoned old building in Hogsmeade. Okay. Alright, Magic Neep. What's this place? It's like a bank? Everybody looks at... Oh, it's Jay Pippins. No, the bank... The, the money symbol is just that there's a merchant there. Right, right, right. Oh, we gotta use the thunder. Do we already have thunderbrew potions? Thunderbrew. No, it is stench of stench of the death. Hey, buddy, do you have any stench of the death? Oh, you don't actually have any stench of the death. Well, shit. Do I have things to sell you? Yeah. Might as well sell you have a good these. Business, hmm. It does look like I do need to go to the rumor requirement for that. And sell these. I feel like it would tell me that, you know, no, it's say like no rumor requirement or Hogsmeade. Okay. Um. Well, if you don't have any sense of, sense of the death, maybe the maybe Pippins does. I feel like I saw it somewhere where we were able to purchase it. If not, I think we could just buy Thunderbrew from Pippins. Welcome. Do let me know if I can be of any assistance at all. Uh, you do have stench of the dead. Stench of the dead, not death. Okay. Oh, Let's just go ahead and get. Thank you. All five of these. That way we have them. How much is this, a thunder? A thousand gold for a Thunderbrew. You just make those and sell those. Holy crap! Again. Farewell for now. Not that he would buy them for. That price. He's probably buy for like 10 gold or something. You know how merchants are in video games. Alright, um. So we do need to. Since we're gonna have to go find something to fight anyway for that, let's just go to the potion shop. Do I have everything ever. Do I have all the uh, flow points explored here? Or flow flames? Flu flames? Uh, nah. Um. Flying class lawn. Where is, uh, 
This is going to be potions right here, right? I don't have the library one. Hmm. Potions classroom. We need to go get the library one. How do we not have the library one? It's weird. Maybe because it's nighttime, it's black or grayed out. I don't think you can go there at night, right? Or maybe you can. I don't know. Well, you're still out here. Are you going to stay there forever? It's your favorite spot. It's kind of an, an interesting place to want to hang out at, though. Hello, Professor. How you doing? The art of potion making is delicate. Yeah, yeah, I know it is. One minute, 30 seconds. Okay. We're going to let that make itself while we go and get the uh, library of Flow Flame. Real quick. Handy resource indeed. Your field guide. Handy resource indeed. Yes, yes, yes. All right, where is the flow flame here? There it is. Perfect. That was simple. All right, we go down here. How much time has it been? I wonder if our uh, herbs are done I now. There were doxy eggs as well. Probably. We'll go check that once we get our potion. 40, oh my God, I was so quick. Anything back here? Revelio. Doesn't look like it. What do we got growing in here? This is not really growing. Looks like we got some... Maybe some octop octopus tentacles there. A whole bunch of them. Oh, sorry, Professor. I knocked down a pitcher. All right. Yes, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Of course. I understand what all of this means. Huh. Okay, I think it's done. Going through the potions achievement. I've made all the potions, I think. Okay, so we have a Thunder Brew potion. So now we need to go find some enemies. Before we do that, let's go get... Adventure, are we? Our herbs in place. And I guess we'll just go to the Forbidden Forest to do that. Unless we want to, like, maybe travel to one of the other hamlets around the world. That could be fun. It probably should be a little bit more, um... Oh, it's not done yet? God, I thought it would be done. Professor Garlic, which you grow in there... Pumpkin flowers? How's that smell? You smell good? Oh, yeah, that's the good stuff. No? Oh, no, it's terrible. Absolutely horrible. Okay, 10 seconds. <laughs> and take that. Thank you very much. All right. So let's take a look at the map. World map. So, we've got things in the Forbidden Forest. We could go there. Um, maybe we want to go to Upper Hog Hogsfield. Oh my god, there's a lot of these Demiguise statues. And collection chests. There's a lot of things we haven't done there. Hmm. You know what? Yeah, let, 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 let's go up there. Let's see what's up there. So we want to go... Not Hogwarts. Not Hog... There we go. Hogsmeade. And this one. I'm curious. Let's go on a little adventure here. I also want to know if, like, we can't see these... If there's side quests there, that means we can't just see all side quests on the map. Like we did the, the one we found... Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? The one we found on, um... With the keys, the flying key things. Revelio. Mm. Why are you locked? Oh, I see you. Oh, the shy boy. Mm. 
Gotcha. Oop. Where are you? Nope, that's not what we want. No, come back. There we go. Oh, level up. That's what we're talking about. All right, talents. Um, any core ones we want? We don't really need the next one of that yet. This one's probably pretty good. Basic combat. This one's actually a, a good one to grab, I think. Just get, get it, get our ancient magic faster. All right. So I think we want to head out this way. Yes. Off we go. Goodbye, Hogsmeade. Probably want to put my hood up too. Don't want to be noticed. We need to find some enemies. I'm not even really sure what Thunderbrood does. Hello, kitty. Really dangerous old bridge here. Got a... What was that? Got a pumpkin patch. Revelio. Ooh, I see a chest over there. Abandoned long ago, no doubt. No doubt. Oop. We're not as abandoned as we think. Stylish blazer school uniform. It is an upgrade. By quite a bit. Revelio. Okay. Back on the road we go. A lot of little paths to follow around here. Hogsmeade is this way and Upper Hogsfield is this way. That's where we want to go. See a flow flame here. Blue flame? Also got to keep an eye out for uh, Trials of Merlin. Oh, there is a side quest here. Okay. So the side quests don't just show up on the maps. Dugbog warning. Warning, Dugbog sighting. Be careful. Couple of side quests here. Was before I invented flu powder. Hmm. Seems a pleasant enough, doesn't it? Shane Bardolph thought dark magic was the answer. I reckon Rookwood's played a hand in his disappearance. Shame. Shame that. I should investigate. Let's investigate. Hello, Dorothy. Excuse me. Did you say something about Bardolf Beaumont? I did. I don't think we've met. I'm Dorothy Sprottle. I was just worrying about Claire Beaumont's brother, Bardolf. Only he's gone missing. Rumor is he was seen in the forest practicing dark magic. Saw him myself near some ruins with Rookwood's lot I did. I fear he got himself into trouble with the Ashwinders, especially if he made them a promise he couldn't keep. I'd help search for him myself, but no one will risk encountering Ranrock's loyalists. They seem to be everywhere. Hmm. Why would Bardolph get involved with Rookwood? Why would Bardolf want to get involved with the Ashwinders? Oh, he had a terrible run-in with Ranrock's loyalists. Changed him. He vowed never to feel powerless again. I think he sought the Ashwinders out to learn their secrets. Victor Rockwood, at least, seems somehow immune to Ranrock's loyalists. What if Bardolf doesn't want to be found? Do you think Bardolf may have simply run off? No. Bardolf's run that shop with Claire his entire life. He'd not give it up for anything. Mm. He swore he'd be back in a fortnight. My instincts are that he's been held captive or worse. Worse? Perhaps I can keep an eye out. 
I can certainly look out for him. Any help would be appreciated. You might speak to Claire first. Perhaps she has some insights that I don't. I can tell you that Bardolf was last seen in the forest wearing a particular woolen jumper. One that Claire knitted herself. Mm. Okay. Claire will be at her shop if you'd like to speak with her. I shall do that. And I, I think it's time to move away from this robe. It's not feeling it anymore, you know? Especially when we have some really nice robes or coats like this. Like, this is just such a cool... It's a little little much, but it's such a cool cloak. Uh, but maybe that... No, nah, that doesn't really match very well. Got these cloaks. No. Nah. I do like that one. My burgundy one I like a lot still. I'm gonna go with that still. And we can get rid of this. Here we go. How's that look? And they get our hat. Uh, da, 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 da. Get our top hat. This one actually matches pretty well, right? The brown. Let's go with that right now. All right. Revelio. Can I get in here? I sure can. Well, well, well. Okay. Um. Accio. Get over here. There we go. I couldn't search you. <laughs> there we go. Shell metallic. How's that look? Where is it? A metal handle with stylish grooves and a marbled shell at its base. I actually like that one a lot. Let's go with it. This looks intriguing. Does it? Oh, sorry. Um, gonna need you to move. Am I making it through? No. Dorothy? Get out. Um. Okay. What a jerk. Luckily, we can do that. I guess that's one positive of fast traveling. There's a lot of positives of fast traveling. But that is one of them. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. I'm not feeling this hat. Not feeling it. I know this is the most exciting part of the game. <laughs> Should we just go hatless? Go hatless. We're trying to keep our cover, right? Nah, that's not gonna work. I do think the top hat's still my favorite. <laughs> Okay. Hello. Upper Hogsfield is being terrorized by Ranrock's loyalists. It's not right. Hi, Claire. Uh, Madame Beaumont, might I speak with you? Madame Beaumont, might I speak with you? Yes. What about? Mrs. Sprottle told me a little about your brother's disappearance. Oh, dear Dorothy. She'd go looking for Bardolph herself if she could. Hmm. She seems genuinely worried. She mentioned dark magic in even the Ashwinders. Despite my repeated warnings, Bardolph's been experimenting with dark magic near the edge of the forest. I thought perhaps he'd get it out of his system and it would gradually stop. But then one day, he didn't come home. Oh no. Do you think he might have run off? Could Bardolph have run off? 
No, he'd never leave me here alone. He did speak of going to talk with Victor Rookwood. That worries me almost more than his attempts at mastering dark magic. Rookwood is as dangerous as Ranrock, in my opinion. Hmm. They brought off pack any belongings? Is there anything your brother took with him that might help to track him down? Hmm. Only his satchel, journal, and a woolen jumper I knitted for him. That's all I can recall. Hmm. I'll keep an eye out. I'll let you know if I see or hear anything about him. Thank you. How kind. I'd be so grateful to learn where he is. I know in my heart he's out there. Do be careful. Will do. May I see your wares? What do you have for sale? What do you sell? Bardo, where are you? I'll not give up hope. Okay. I don't need any of that. Thank you, though. Thank you for passing through. You had a quest, though, didn't you? Can I help out over here? What can be done? I couldn't help but overhear. Did you mention Ranrock's loyalists? I did. <sighs> Never imagined they'd act this deadly. I'm Claire Beaumont, by the way. Nice to meet you. Ranrock and his followers have set up camp here. No regard for our beloved hamlet or our livelihoods. Ruthless. My brother Baldov dared to stand up to them and ended up in St. Mungo's. Wait, what? I'm simply at my wit's end. What happened to your brother? How did your brother Bardolf end up in St. Mungo's? <sighs> Bardolf had spent the entire day hand-picking herbs and roots for us. When a group of Ranrock's lot appeared and demanded the harvest for themselves, Bardolf refused. In their anger, they hurled him against a rock and robbed him. The moment he left St. Mungo's, he vowed revenge. Ah. Uh, I worry he may be dabbling in magic that he will one day regret. And the timeline messed up. Messed up. Messed up. Uh, where have the loyalists set up camp? You said Ranrock's loyalists have set up camp here. I'm gonna go kill him. Where, precisely? To the south, across the river. Last I heard, there were several loyalists in each camp. I won't go near them. Why don't you leave? Uh, why don't you leave? Why don't you simply leave the area for now? Upper Hogsfield is my home. Baldolf and I grew up here. No, we are standing firm. Once my brother returns, then we shall decide what to do next. If he returns. Got to seek Victor Rookwood's advice. I didn't approve of that idea, but perhaps in the end it will help. Hmm. I could run them out. I'm unfortunately quite familiar with Ranrock's loyalists. Perhaps I can do something. Oh, Ranrock and Rookwood. Okay, <laughs> I, I, I get confused. <laughs> I wouldn't want you to risk injury or worse. Please be cautious. So the goblins have been causing him problems. Rebellion. Gotcha, gotcha. All right, that one's locked, and so is that one. It seems as though things are getting worse. Best be on my guard. Best be. What is this over here? Do those things always show up? They don't always show up, right? I don't know. Pumpkin fizz. Pumpkin fizz is a fashionable carbonated drink with a pumpkin flavor. It has yet to become as popular here as butterbeer, but one never knows. Neat. Open that's a challenge completed. Over here. And this one. We got Highland Explorer Cap. Cool. Let's try that on. I kind of like it. It kind of matches my outfit pretty well with like the green there and then like the brown and gold. Ooh, I'm going to go with it. I mean, it definitely don't look as cool as my top hat, but you know. Can't always be cool. I wonder who lives here. All right, let's go clear out these goblins. Or, yeah, the goblins. There's another chest way down here. Let's go see if it's... Locked. Rebellion. It is not. Okay. Celestial blue. A fantastical bold handle design in starry blue and brass topped with a modeled a model planet. 
That's really cool. I still like this one more. You know, looking at my hair, I'm always I always wonder why. If you played The Witcher Three, do you remember how like Geralt's hair would like grow and his beard would grow and everything? I've not seen that replicated in any game, and I think it's a really cool like immersion aspect, especially when you have you know, like a barbershop already in the game and stuff. I think that'd be really cool. Also, we're we're like sixteen. Why can't we have like a little stubble or something? Where's our facial hair? Are we 16 or are we 15? I think we're 16. Okay. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Okay. Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. Alright, well we need to get in there. One of Ranrock's camps. Exactly as Madame Beaumont described. Ow. Yes. Okay. Incendio. Repulsor. How nice of you to stop by. Ow. One less humor to one shot. Ow. Alright, let's actually do some things here. Ow. Damn it. Okay. You only have Ranrock to blame. So my excuse is one camp down, one more to go. It's been a couple days since I have played. Uh, I was a little rusty there. I wasn't using my spells. I was just firing away. Revelio. What do we got in here? Anything around? Any chests or anything? What are they mining here? Okay, the other camp's over here. Gonna regret going where? Okay. Well, this wizard. Uh. 
Both camps cleared. Madam Beaumont will be glad to hear that. That's what they get. Yeah, what were they doing here? Revelio. Is that not a chest right there? Guess not. Okay. Always set your campfires. Okay. Let's head back. That wasn't so bad. There's a lot going on in combat, though, I feel like. I gotta keep my spells going, my combos going, while being aware of when I'm being attacked and everything like that, and my health and my, my ancient magic. It's tough. It's tough. It's tough for a bad gamer, I suppose. If you're a good gamer, I mean, I imagine it's pretty good. It's fun, though. Like, it's not tough in an unfair way, which is always great. So is that fine balance you need to strike as a game, I feel like. And to be fair, I am playing on the hardest difficulty, so, you know. That might have a, a hand in it, too. All right, Claire, I have killed all the goblins. <laughs> Done what you adults could not do. Huh. Seems a pleasant enough little you? place. Your generosity helped me afford this rather exotic snake contraption. Very Salazar, isn't it? Very. Have another tip. Thank you. Enjoy the show. <sighs> I do miss the bustle of business. Hello, Madam Beaumont. Good news. I was able to clear out Ranrock's camps. You cleared them out? How? I killed them. It was difficult. It was harrowing, and they dug in their heels, but I managed. When my brother returns, this news will mean the world to him. You saved our hamlet, my young friend. This will not be forgotten. I fear for other hamlets, truly. Ranrock and his lot are unlike any goblins I've ever seen. Mm. Thank you for your time. I should be going now. Thank you. Thank you. Sincerely. Stag's gold decoration. Neat. Okay. Let's go find her brother now. We need to do all those too. And we need to return to Professor Sharp to get the Fendo. Um, I thought I told you to search this one. Here we go. All right, way down there, let's go. Off we go to find the brother. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Oh, really? Are those caves? Those must be caves, those, those symbols. It's kind of far, isn't it? It's kind of dark. Lumos. Revelio. Things in a little bit of disrepair right there. Probably these to caves. I don't think I'm ready to go exploring the caves like that yet. I just want to find the brother and get back home. But damn, those birds scared the crap out of me. It's spooky. Should have gone at day. Or during the day. Kind of a swamp down here. Yeah. Giant spined thing. Okay. Past the river near the forest. I must be on the right track. Must be. I mean, I'm following the quest markers. Oh, we're in the Forbidden Forest. Got this thing too. Let's go save the brother first. Inferius. Use the pulse to launch an airborne 
Oh, dueling feats. Okay. Inferior must be struck with fire spells to make them vulnerable to other attacks. Visit the collection menus to learn. Oh. Incendio. Did that work? Oh, jeez. Protego! Stupefy! Incendio! God damn, they're so quick. Protego! Stupefy! Incendio! Is that Amphibious wearing a wooden jumper? That must be Bardock. Damn it. Stupefy! Stupefy! Incendio! Protego! Stupefy! Incendio! Jumper. Oh. So I'm not sure Madame Bone would want to know what really happened to him. Incendio! Oh, is he dead? Cabolso! I was so busy, um, you know, fighting, I wasn't paying attention to what was being said. Maybe it says, it says in the journal. I need to return to Upper Hawksfield to tell Claire Bar. Beaumont about her brother Baldolf's fate, but how do I tell her that he'd become an inferius, and even worse, that I had to destroy him? This is going to be difficult. Mm. Yeah, it's going to be difficult, all right. Revelio. Ah, this is where you collect stenches of death. Stench, stench of the deads. I don't know why I keep calling it death. Journal entry 01 to 02. I hate that I'm afraid, but there's no going back. I seem to have mastered two of the curses so far, but I've had the pledge to do their bidding if I'm to learn more. I can't let them see my fear. They're already whispering behind my back. I've been told not to trust dark wizards, but I can't stop until I have enough magic to protect Claire, myself, and all of Upper Hogsfield. An entry from Bardolf's journal. He overheard whispers, a plan, something to do with him. Revelio. Wonder if there's any more. Ooh, here's one. Journal two, two. I'm repulsed by what I've just witnessed. They've created an inferious, a corpse mut mutilated, come to life. I tried to hide my horror at what I was seeing. Alas, I think they saw through me. I need to convince them I'm not a spy. I'm not here to undermine them. If I do not, I fear I could be next. This mentions in theory. And something about it being Bardolf's turn next. Mm. Well, at least we have some more information for her. That sucks, though. Revelio. That over there. Okay. I do want to go down here just to see. I should investigate. Lumos. Investigating. Revelio. Lumos. I like how you whisper it when you are in stealth. It's really cool. It's a nice touch. Navigators. Revelio. Alright, I guess that's it. We also got some new glasses. Okay. Other levels 19 glasses. Damn. Did we get a new cloak too? Oh, we did. And it's better. Yeah, let's wear that for a while. Why not? That's fine. Did, did I see collections have been updated? Or challenges, rather? Combat. Uh, defeat and Fury. Okay, cool. Defeat infamous foes. Wolf mask. Okay. I don't think we've got any of these done. But 
interesting. All right. I think we're we're free to just walk back. All right, I like this look. I like the the wizard robes and I'm going the wrong way. Hello, chickens. I like this hat. I think it's good. It's a, it's a nice. I mean, it's not exactly a wizard's hat, but it's it's close. This is like a mage hat. I feel bad that I had to deliver this news. Who are you? And what are you doing? Just walking? Okay, I guess that's fair. You're allowed to walk, I suppose. Akio! Give me that moonstone. I think after this, we're going to go back to potions class and get that next spell. And then I think we're going to learn flying. I think it's time. Hopefully the frame rates aren't too bad with me sprinting through the open world like this. Might be another. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Um, luckily you don't have to worry about that because you're at Hogwarts, which is a big place. All right. It's you? Oh, I do hope my brother is all right. Mm, he's not. Madame Beaumont, I do have some news about, of your brother. Madame Beaumont, I do have some news of your brother. Oh, please tell me he's safe. I'm afraid he's dead. I regret to say that Bardolf had been turned into an inferior, and I had to kill him. What? But, but how could you possibly think that an Inferius was my brother Bardolf? That's absurd. He was wearing a woolen jumper, hand knitted. <gasps> no, no, it can't be. <gasps> I'm truly sorry. I wish it had been better news. I wish you well, Adam Beaumont. Yeah, that's rough. Badolf. Arrow dear, black. Dear brother. Yeah, it's tough right there. That was really good. Really good uh everything. It's a little too black, like too shiny. It's almost like a ebony black polished and everything to match my wand. I think this kind of matches a little bit a little bit better. It's like slick. Too smooth. Yeah. Okay, that didn't, you know. Can I talk to you about it too? No. Alright, well. Let's go back to potions class. I think we'll fast travel there. Uh, potions. The Thunder Brew thing was actually really strong. I feel like. They made it so we weren't really getting hit while I was attacking other things. It's just unfortunate <laughs> that I used it so early. Excuse you. Professor? Have you finished your assignments? I have. I finished the tasks, Professor. Well, well. I trust you are meticulous in your efforts. After all, shortcuts only ever lead to shortcomings. Hmm. Uh, all went perfectly well, Professor. Yes, sir, of course. Good. Ordinarily, I'd say it's not my concern either way, but you... I want to make sure you're well prepared. Well, thank you. Talent and resolve are a potent combination. It would be a shame to let that go to waste. Thank you, Professor. Don't let it go to your head. Now, 
Let's see how you fare with Defindo. Wand at the ready. All right. Focus. Defindo can be dangerous if you're not paying attention. Okay. Wigan World Potion is not a cure all. There we go. That one actually had me a little worried. New skill mm. unlocked, Defendo. Very good. It seems you have a grasp on Defendo. I. Thank you. Pass room. For your sake and that of everyone else. All right. Complete assignment three of four. Defendo. It's a pleasure to have a student who actually heeds instruction. Hmm. What exactly does this do? This should have read that first, right? Slashes objects and enemies from afar, dealing considerable damage. I like it. Where would I put it, though? I like Expelliarmus because it adds curse. Hmm. Let's put it there, and then put Lumos here. It's gonna take me a while to get used to like uh, bar swapping. Okay. Handy resource indeed. Your field guide. Let's check our journal. Okay, let's go do flying class. I'm most pleased to be included. Where do we need to go for this? I'd like to do some windows. I guess we'll do we'll go check on our our plant real quick too. Oh. There it is. Get back here. Man, it's hard to see. Wish I could afford my own. Where are you going? Everyone <sighs> pulls off that broom at least once. Ah. Thought you could get away from me. Come on. I dare you. I dare you. God damn it. Tricked me. You tricked me. Damn it. <laughs> the hardest part of the game right here. Focus. Yes. Got it. Another house token. There we go. It's a relief to finally have an answer as to why that portrait was empty. What's this up here? Is this one of these things? Yes. Incendio. Awesome. We're halfway to the end of that one. What was that for? I'll be weak. I like our look right now. I look very Slytherin. Slytherin. Have you ever had a call from me? How nice to see you, my young friend. Nice to see you too. Give me that nut grass. All right, now we're definitely gonna go learn how to fly. Off we go. Attention! Oh, they don't even care. Oh, they're a little late there. Maybe? I don't know what they're doing. Alright. We've made it. Isn't there like a Ooh, flow flame over here? There fast. it is. There we go. Flying class lawn. Begin. Everybody grab a broom and we shall get started. Hell yeah. Mr. Clopton, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Hello. Hello. 
The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely, as broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Hey. Not a fan, I take it? Now, let's yep, see how well bad. everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom, say up firmly and clearly, then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up! Thank you. Now, your turn. Up! Up! Up, you stupid ratty school broom! Up. Up! Up! Easy. One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. Don't act like you've never flown before. You're a fifth year. Come on. And if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Okay. Good. Now. For your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. The brooms are school property. I want them returned in one piece. Ah, I think I'm getting the hang of this. <laughs> this is brilliant. It is, but why am I acting like I've never flown before? Did it not teach me at my old school? Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? I actually don't think we went to an old school. I think they probably just found me when I was like 16 or something and invited me. This next set of rings will take you around the grounds like a for bumpkin. more of a challenge. Go. Speed up. What a view. <laughs> Hello. Nice day for a flight. It is a nice day, isn't it? Ha! Good. I've got this. Oh, I just crashed. Oh, God. Ah. Oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as a first year. I wish I could have done that, too. That would have been awesome. I do kind of wish we started as the first year. I know, you know, we've had to be playing like an 11 year old kid. We probably, you know, annoy a lot of people. But it'd be cool to get like the whole like. Whoa! Experience. Our aquatic resident likes to make an appearance once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> what does that sound? I need a faster broom. Too slow. Huh? That wasn't too bad. The music's really popping off. No, I'm flying. Are we gonna do a loop to loop? I say, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Yeah, you We are. haven't properly met. I'm Everett Clopton. Am I right in suspecting that a Slytherin like you might be interested in making an escape from class? Oh, hell yeah. Won't we get in trouble? I like the sound of that. <sighs> Can't say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. Yeah. The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Lovely. Let's indeed. hope the headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. Nice to get above it all, isn't it? Ahead of the gardens, the hmm. Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. How is Everett flying so quick? Oh, is that what that's That's awesome. Here's something handy to know. 
Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. Okay. Speed burst, toggle flight speed. Ha <laughs> ha! Now that's more like it. You sure you're not part Hippogriff? There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the Owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Never been to Flying the tips yet. and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. Yes, it's uh, kind of nice. I was—I didn't know what this tower was. That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Best hurry back. How's he still faster than me? I wish I could just like dive. I guess that's what Looks this like is. He's already dismissed class. Better hurry and hand in our brooms. Dismount here. Ah, I can't stop. Hold B to dismount. Okay. And we where have you two been? Uh... Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I'm disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're I... still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But Professor Enough. Class is finished for the day. As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. Me? Chin up. That was some rather good fly. Oh, thank you. She's nice. Okay. <clears throat> There's all the Ravenclaws. Sorry about that business with Kagawa. But you have to admit, those views were worth it. They were pretty awesome. Uh, I, I wish we hadn't gotten in trouble. Perhaps, but we did get in trouble, and Kagawa could hold it against us. Rotten luck, that. I didn't think she'd see us. But it's no matter. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom, then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwitch's in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. All right. Flying class complete. Six main quests completed. That's a new challenge done. Another level. More talents. Doing good. We're doing great. Okay. 18% done. Let's see what we unlocked with this. We unlock the legendary armored attire. So eight ones to get this mask. Neat. We have new glasses. Now that we're 19, put those on. Um, I mean, I don't know about those glasses. Where's the eye of Newt? I kind of like these. <laughs> Some goggles. Let's go with these bookish ones, yeah. So we got, where was that thing at? That we just picked up, is that one of these? This one? Ooh, I kind of like that. Let's go with that. Okay, new talent. So what do we got? This one, two projectiles back. That could be really good. Evasion, absorption, uh, ancient magic meter, right? We struck with stupefy, you remain stunned for longer. And we can heals you to a greater effect. Mm, this one's probably pretty important. Let's do that. It's starting to feel like we are going to be able to unlock all of these things. Like, we're already level 19 and I, we're 18% done with the game. Like, I feel like unless levels start taking a lot longer to get, which they don't seem like they are. Oh, God, we have a lot of these. Okay, let's go through these. 
So we have an Inferius. Though invulnerable to most types of damage, Inferi cannot abide warmth and light and therefore sus are sus and are therefore susceptible to fire. After an Inferius has been burned, other damaging attacks will have full effects, providing a few more options to destroy these abominations. A burning Inferius' imp impending attack provides the perfect opportunity to capitalize on the explosive power of Bombarda. Don't have it yet, but I'll keep that in mind. And Bardolf Beaumont's corpse. The reanimated corpse that was once Bardolf Beaumont, brother to Upper Hogsfield's Claire Beaumont. Bardolf had gone missing after allegedly connecting with Rookwood's lot, breaking the heart of the Beaumont family. Yeah, it's tough. That is tough, indeed. Okay, we've read these ones already, right? There's nothing new here. Yeah. Was there another one? Ah, there was. I don't think we've read this one, actually. A black and golden handle with a commanding point at its base. This one is nice, I just don't think it matches my wand. Get this. A cap in shades of emerald for the intre intrepid explorer. Earned by collecting field guide pages. And this. An ensemble stitched with mysterious designs earned by completing main quests. Cool, cool, cool. And then conjuration. A skull with which to decorate your wall. Very nice. Herbs. Stench of death. Stench of the dead. God damn it. Essence gathered from Infury. Ingredient for Thunderbird. And Revelio pages. We only got 100 of these left to unlock. That's all. <laughs> uh, did I miss it? No, here it is. Which we have read. Yep. Okay. All right. So. What do we have now? Nothing. We just got these. I'm sure we'll get another quest here soon. I've not forgotten about our library venture. How did you fare? If you're keen for some illicit spell practice, meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. I know a discreet place near there. Hmm. Oh? Good day to you. I require assistance with a delivery and thought you might be interested. Please visit me at J. Pippin's Potions if you'd like to earn a few coins. I would like to earn a few coins. Please meet me in the seventh floor corridor as soon as you can. I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on your studies, away from prying eyes and distractions. That's going to be the rumor requirement right there. I feel like that's probably what we should do right away then. Yep, the rumor requirement. Okay, we'll do that one first. And then we'll probably do a demanding delivery after that. Get an appearance. Ooh. Okay, I think that's where we're going to end this episode, guys. I just want to change, see about changing my cloak real quick to something else. Let's see. Let's take a look here. This is the uh, legendary cave, right? Main quest, yeah. I kind of do like that. I do like these robes, but I, the only thing I don't like about it is you can't see like the clothes underneath. I do like my burgundy robes, though. It's still probably one of my favorite robes, even though it's pretty simplistic. You know what? Let's go with that. Looking pretty good. Pretty sharp. Don't look like a student, that's for sure. <laughs> we look like royalty. <laughs> I don't know if we're going to stay with this style, but uh, Just we'll use it for a little bit. It, it is pretty nice. I'm better than all y'all. I'm the protagonist. Look at my outfit. 
all right that's where we're gonna end this episode guys in the next one we'll uh unlock the room of requirement and see uh what that what that means for us uh, but until then i hope you all have a wonderful day and i will catch you later